All right. So far for my meet my classmate classmates app, you know, I can run the app and it shows my data. Okay. Um, and when I click on an item, it goes to the info screen, but obviously it's not showing the information it should. Okay. So let's code that up. The first thing we need to do is, you know, in screen one, you know, when, when the user clicks one of the items, we're going to the info screen, but we need to actually use this row ID. Now the row ID is not the row number. So it's not one, two, or three. It's actually, when you use these data viewers connected to a spreadsheet, it's, you know, the spreadsheet, each row actually has a kind of um, Google Sheets generated ID. Okay, and it's a, it's, it's a long text number. Um, you don't even need to know what it, you know, what they look like, but essentially it's not one, two, or three, it's just some kind of randomly generated number. But we're going to need that ID on the info screen to show the right to show the right data. Okay, like if I click the first thing, I want Dave Wolver to show up, right? So what I'm going to do is I'm going to create a variable over here, and I'm going to name it um, person ID, and um, you know it'll start off as you know doesn't really matter as blank. Um, but when they finally click something, what I'm going to do is I'm going to set that variable and I'm going to set it to the row ID. And I can just click right on this. This is actually an event parameter. So when you when you click an item, it, it gives you this parameter, this information about the event. In this case, it's the, the row that actually got clicked. And so I'm going to set my variable person ID to it. And that way, when I do get to info screen, I better do that before I navigate. Um, you know, bef when I get to info screen, that variable will be set. And in that, in that screen, I can get to the variable. Okay, so now I'm going to go over to info screen, and what I want to happen is when this screen opens, okay, um, so here's info screen opens. So when the screen opens, I want to show whatever that ID is, I want to show it's that person's information. Okay, and this, this data sources component, you know, essentially lets you get to, you know, class rosters, my spreadsheet, it lets you get to that spreadsheet and get stuff from it kind of dynamically as the app's running. Okay, and in fact, I'm definitely going to use this get value block a couple times. Okay, and what I want to do is I've set up this name label. So I'm just going to set my name label and I'm going to set it to, okay, I want a class roster. I've only got one sheet in there named sheet one and I want to grab the name. Okay, then for my description label, I kind of want to do the same thing. I'll just command C, command V, except in this case, what I'm going to do is grab the description. Okay. And then finally, the image, I want to set my picture. And what I want to do is set it to um, the pick. And, you know, if, if I bring up my spreadsheet, remember the pick column is, is where I keep the URL. I have the URLs of all the images for the people. Okay, so right when my screen opens, I'm gonna set all this stuff, and but I need to get the right row ID here. And you'll remember in my screen one, I set person ID, the variable person ID to, to the row ID. So all I need to do is go to variables, grab this person ID. I'm gonna copy it twice and you know, that's that, Whoever that person is, you know, whether it's the Dave Wolber, the first one, Rafiki, the second one, or, or Tara, the third one, um, I want to use that, that, the ID for that row and, and show that data. Okay, let's go back to screen one. Let's just see, see how this is working. Um, so in the designer, if I click preview, um, you know, just because I've mapped my spreadsheet, this stuff all shows up. Um, but I know when I click on one of these, it should show that person's information. And there we go. So it, it went and got the, the correct row. And I, you know, I kind of want to test this and be careful. So I'll, I'll, I'll make sure, it, you know, what if, what if I click Rafiki? Will it show Rafiki? And it does. Okay. So um, right now I've got at least the basics of my info screen where no matter which item the user chooses, it shows, it shows that that items um, data on the info screen.